What's going on, gang? Welcome back to the channel. My name's CJ. This is Out of Bounds, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at some single stat player props for tonight's NBA slate. We got four games on the deck, so not a ton of games to talk about, but if you play on prize picks or you're putting in bets on the various sports books out there, you're going to want to stick around because hopefully we're going to hit on some very good player props, and I'm talking single stat points, assists, rebounds and three pointers made so if you're into that sort of thing definitely stick around for today's video if you've never been to the channel before welcome to out of bounds hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications if you're into sports betting if you're into playing on prize picks we talk about nba right now but i'll get into other sports when nba goes away but right now our primary focus is prize picks and the sports betting sites and the nba season so I appreciate all your support. We're on our way to 900 subscribers. I'd like to hit that goal by the end of April. There's still about 45, 46% of you out there who tune into these videos daily but haven't subscribed yet. And I'm sitting here scratching my head. I'm wondering, hmm, why? Just hit subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And we're on our way to our 900 subscriber goal. So it would be very, very, very much appreciated if you could help me out there. Now I'm gonna set a goal of 27 and a half likes on today's video. I'm taking the over on 27 and a half. That means we gotta hit 28 or more likes and I can't do it without you guys. So I appreciate all of your help in achieving today's like goal. Now, uh, there's just four games, as I mentioned, on tonight's NBA slate. I've already looked at the news. There wasn't a ton of news to talk about. So let's just get right into talking about some single stat points, assists, rebounds, and three-pointers made. First guy I want to talk about is Sacramento Kings point guard De'Aaron Fox. Now, he's projected at 26 and a half points. And at 26 and a half points, I don't think that that's quite high enough. I think that 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 there's a, a ceiling here, a higher ceiling than 26 and a half for De'Aaron Fox. So we're gonna use a number of different free sites. All of these sites are totally free, don't cost you a dime to use any of them. The first one we're gonna use is Numberfire. Now Numberfire is pretty cool because they offer free fantasy point projections as well as single stat points. So that helps us out when making these videos. So the first thing I wanna do is look at the game totals here for this Sacramento game. They're taking on the Phoenix Suns tonight. And it looks like this game has a total of 234 points, so pretty large total, which is a good thing. When the totals are higher, that means that there's more real life points. There's more assists, rebounds, three-pointers made. Everything tends to rise to the top when the game totals are higher. I will say, though, that I am a bit concerned with the spread. Phoenix is a 12-point favorite at home, which means that this one is a red for me, meaning that there's a high probability, high risk of a blowout. And some of the stars, like De'Aaron Fox, like your Chris Pauls, your Devin Bookers, they may not make it to the fourth quarter if this game does turn out to be a blowout. So Sacramento's gonna have to try and keep things close and competitive, especially if we're looking to target the overs on some guys like De'Aaron Fox and this 26 and a half point prop. So with that in mind, we can see that De'Aaron Fox is already up here, pretty high up on the list. He's projected for 26.9 real life points, putting him slightly over 26 and a half. So, so far the over is looking like the way to go. Now, the next site that I like to use is NBA.com forward slash players, and this is handy because you could do a little search for any player that you want. So in this case, we're looking for De'Aaron Fox, so if we type in his name, you can see he pops right up here, nice and easy peasy. And then you can control click or command click if you're on a Mac. It opens up a new tab, and you can see that his player card pops right up. Now, his projection, again, is 26 and a half points over on prize picks. For the season, he is averaging 25.2 real life points. So that puts him under today's projection. Now we don't stop there. We click the stats tab and then we can scroll on down here to this little traditional splits link. You can see it highlights blue when you mouse over it. Click on that, click advanced filters, change the season segment from all games to just the last five games and click run it. Now what this will do is allow you to see a five game recap, a five game window of his averages and see how he's been performing in more of a recent sample size. So you can see that in his last five games, his scoring average is through the roof, 32 real life points per game. So that's looking fantastic if we're looking to take the over on De'Aaron Fox. Now the last thing that I like to do is go to rotowire.com 
And over on Rotowire, they do a good job of giving us four of the main sports books and providing us with different player props so you can see a side by side by side by side view of how people are betting on different single stat player props. So in this case, we're looking at points and we're looking at De'Aaron Fox. So we could type his name in and he comes right up and you could see that at 26 and a half points, it looks like there's no action on DraftKings Sportsbook over or under. Now, if we just arrow over, you could see at FanDuel, people are actually taking the under on 26 and a half points. So they think that he will score 26 or less points in this game, which could make some sense being that, as I mentioned before, this game is scheduled to blow out. Now at BetMGM at 26 and a half points, looks like the over is the more popular way to go there. And then finally points bet at 26 and a half, people again are taking the over. So out of the four sports books that they list here, two of them are taking the over on De'Aaron Fox. One is a slight under and another one has no juice over or under. So I think I'm gonna to stick to my guns here. Trust the number fire projections. Trust the recent game logs for De'Aaron Fox where he's been putting up over 31 points per game. And I'm gonna ride the over on De'Aaron Fox tonight. So there you have it for him. Now the next game and next guy I wanna talk about is gonna be Cardiac Kemba Walker. Now he's projected for 17 and a half real life points. The Boston Celtics taking on their uh, Arch rivals, we'll call them the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, this rivalry goes all the way back to, I mean, Bill Russell days, uh, Jerry West days, uh, Wilt Chamberlain. Back a long, long time ago, these teams have been going at it forever. So this should be a pretty fun game. Now, this game tips off at 10, 10 p.m. Kimball Walker projected at 17 and a half points. So let's dig into some of the projections and averages and see if Kimball Walker is going to go over or under. Right now, my initial reaction is to take the over on Kimball Walker. So again, we could do control F and then we could type in Kimball Walker's name and you could see that he's projected for 17.8 real life points, putting him slightly over this 17 and a half point projection right now. So that's looking good so far. Now we head back to NBA.com. We can type in Kimball Walker's name. And once we click that, you can see that his season averages are looking pretty good here. 17.7 points per game for the season. He's uh, more often than not between 17 and 18 points, favoring the 18 side of things, which is great, especially if we're looking to take the over here today. So we click the stats tab, go down to traditional splits, click advanced filters, change the season segment to his last five games. And if you want to look at other game samples, you could do last 10, you could do last 15. I just like looking at the last five because it's the most recent sample size and uh, I want to see how he's been doing recently versus how he's been doing for the season. And you can see for the last five games, his average is down to 16.5 points. So versus his season averages, his last five games are a bit lower than where he's been at for the season. So that is a little bit worrisome, a little bit of a red flag. I'd call it a minor red flag, but a red flag nonetheless. Now, the next thing we'll do is head back to Rotowire and we type in Kimball Walker's name. And you can see that on DraftKings Sportsbook, 16 and a half points, not really seeing any under or over action on Kimball Walker right now. FanDuel, different story. People are slightly taking the over on 16 and a half points. So again, he's at 17 and a half on prize picks. This is where things get tricky because prize picks likes to take the projections that you see out there on Vegas, the props, and they'll tweak them a little bit. So they might go up by a half a point. They might go down a half a point. They might go up a whole point. They might go down a whole point. So uh, prize picks never likes to give us any kind of edge. Unfortunately, it's one of the things that I dislike about playing on prize picks, but you don't have to worry about this if you're out on the different sports books. So at 17 and a half on BetMGM, it looks like people are taking the over there looking like a good way to go. And then finally points bet, they've also got him at 17 and a half, but we're not really seeing any action over or under there. So not a ton of information out there for Kemba Walker. I will say that the um, uh, Vegas numbers, the, the, the lines for him out on Vegas at the various sports books aren't looking super clear right now. Things could change throughout the day as action continues to roll in. So definitely keep an eye on that. Um, but I would say that based on his season averages, this game to me looks like it's going to be one that is shaping up to where Kemba Walker can potentially go over his 17 and a half point prop. And I'm probably going to stick to my guns here, being that the game totals are uh, 
they're decent at 212. The spread's not too crazy. It's just a six-point spread. So um, hopefully Kimball Walker can get it done here tonight. All right, and with that in the books, let's talk one more point prop, and then we'll move on to one of the other categories here. And coming from that same game, Kyle Kuzma, who's at 15 and a half actual points. Uh, again, this game total, not super high, but it's decent, and the spread is still competitive, meaning it should not blow out, should stay close and competitive here. But Kyle Kuzma at 15 and a half, I'm kind of feeling that... Uh, that he goes under here. Now, the other night, I took the under on three-pointers for Kuzma, and uh, I guess that guy had the ultimate green light. I think he jacked up like 13 three-pointers, ended up going over his three-point prop the other night. So I'm hoping tonight he comes back down to earth and returns to closer to what he averages for the season. So today, you can see his projection on number fire is 15.4 points, putting him slightly under the projection of 15.5 over on prize picks. So with that in mind, Let's head over to NBA.com. We'll do a little search here for Kyle Kuzma real quick. And we can get a better picture of how he's been scoring the ball for the season and in his last five games. Now you can see a season averages 12.8 points is quite a bit lower than the projection tonight of 15.5. But we have to keep in mind that, you know, Guys like LeBron James, Anthony Davis were in the lineup at certain points throughout the season. So this number here is probably a bit low. It's probably a bit skewed. So that's why we look at the last five games as well to hopefully paint a better picture of how Kyle Kuzma has been scoring. Now, every once in a while, you get a little glitch here like I just got. Let's try that again. Perfect. NBA.com, sometimes it freaks out. So we click traditional splits, advanced filters, all games, change it to five games. Click run it, and you can see that for his last five games, 15.3 points per game. So pretty close to 15.5, but still under. So the under that I initially was feeling like the way I wanted to go on Kyle Kuzma's point prop is still holding up for me. I still like the under based on what I'm seeing. Now, of course, our last stop is here on RotoWire. And at 14 and a half points, you're not really seeing any action over or under. 15 and a half, that's an apples to apples versus prize picks. That's more of what we're looking at here. So at 15 and a half, you can see that the under is looking like the way to go. He's a minus 116 over there. Uh, BetMGM, they got him at 14 and a half. And at 14 and a half, people are taking the over, meaning they think he's going to score at least 15 points, maybe more. And then finally, points bet. 14 and a half, again, they're taking the over at 14 and a half, meaning they think he's going to go for 15 or more as well. But um, the only site that has a prop up at 15 and a half is FanDuel, and people are smashing the under over there at a minus 116. So I'm going to stick to my guns and stay true to how I felt initially and take the under on Kyle Kuzma and his 15 and a half point prop. All right, so with that one in the books, we can move on to the next statistical category, which is going to be assists. So we scroll back up here, and then we click the assist button. And they got some interesting assist props out there, but two, or one, actually I should say one in particular really stood out to me, and that's Chris Paul at nine and a half dimes. Now again, they're taking on the Sacramento Kings. This game does look like it's going to be a big blowout. So I'm liking the under here on Chris Paul at nine and a half assists. Now let's see how things are shaping up here. Now you could click the assist column and you can see that it automatically highlights everything, makes it easier to see, and it sorts it for you. So now that we've got that all figured out, we can type in Chris Paul's name. Now he's looking like he's going to be the highest assist man on the board today at nine and a half projected assists, which coincidentally happens to be exactly where he's projected on prize picks today. So it's looking like a push so far, but you and I both know that there's no such thing as 9.5 assists. He's either going to go over 9 or he's going to go under 10. So, uh, you know, he, he's going to be at 9 or 10. There's no 9.5. That's what I mean to say. So with that in mind, let's go back to NBA.com and maybe we can look at his averages and that'll help us formulate a better idea of which way we should be going on Chris Paul and the, these assists tonight. And you can see that 8.7 assists per game for the season. That would put him under this nine and a half mark. So if he dishes it out just nine times, well, we're in good shape, especially if we're looking to take the under on his assist tonight. But let's take things a step further, get a better idea of how he's been playing in his last five games here. We'll change this once again to his last five game filter and we'll click run it. And then you can get an idea of how he's been dishing the ball. So 
for his last five games in which he's appeared in all five games. 8.2 assists. So that's a good healthy under on tonight's projection of 9.5 on prize picks. So I am still sticking my guns here with Chris Paul and thinking that the under is going to be the way I want to go. Now, last but not least, we can head back to RotoWire. RotoWire's got this handy little toolbar. You can't see it on my screen, but you'll see it if you go to RotoWire's prop bet site for NBA. It's got points, rebounds, assists, three pointers all along the bottom there. You just click a button and it takes you to your desired category. So you can see DraftKings Sportsbook, not really seeing any juice on Chris Paul over or under. FanDuel Sportsbook at nine and a half dimes. People are taking the under there, so that's looking good. That's helping to support our initial idea or thought on Chris Paul under uh, not, under nine and a half assists. And then BetMGM, they got him at nine and a half as well. People are taking the under there. And then finally, a stronger position on the under on points bet at nine and a half assists for Chris Paul. He is a minus 125 over there. So that makes me feel pretty good about staying true to my initial gut feeling of going under Chris Paul, nine and a half assists. So there you have it. All right, with assists out of the way, we're going to move on to rebounds where I got a couple of more Phoenix Suns to talk about. And the first one I want to discuss is going to be Devin Booker. Devin Booker, again, taking on the Sacramento Kings. Game projects to be a blowout. This game tips off at 10, 10 p.m. So with Devin Booker in mind, we're going to, again, click on this column here for rebounds. You can see then it highlights everything for us. Nice and easy for us to see. Type in Devin Booker's name and his projections for rebounds tonight, which means we should be taking the under on Devin Booker at four and a half. And now let's see if his averages back up this idea. And we can do that by clicking NBA.com and typing in Devin Booker's name. And his player card pops right up here. And you can see that for the season, he is at 4.2 rebounds per game. So if you think of these numbers on a spectrum between four and five, more often than not, he leans more toward four rebounds than he does five, which is perfect, especially if we're looking to take the under on Devin Booker. So let's click his stats and rinse and repeat. It's the same process over and over again. And by the way, if you don't have time to do this research, guys, that's why I offer a Patreon membership because I'll sit here and I'll go through the entire prize picks board. I will prop shop looking for the best plays versus projections. And I put those all in a spreadsheet for you. And at the end of the day, right before tip off, I release all of that. And you can go and take a look at the very, very best props that are out there. I've done all the work, all the research, all the time for you. It's just 20 bucks a month. It helps support me as a creator. And it gives you some valuable information and saves you a bunch of time, hopefully. So if you want to join the Patreon, I'll leave a link down in the description of this video. Also, I'll leave a link down in the description of the video for our free Discord community where you could go and join and talk more about prize picks and player props on your various sports betting websites. All right, with that in mind, last five games for Devin Booker, you can see his rebounds are at 4.6, so a slight, slight over on this 4.5, meaning in his last five games, in which he's appeared in all five, he's leaning more toward five rebounds than he is four rebounds. So a little bit of a red flag, but not a major one in my opinion. So the next thing we want to look at is Roto-Wire. So we type in Devin Booker's name. And you can see on DraftKings Sportsbook, at four and a half boards, people are smashing the under, minus 127. FanDuel, people again are smashing the over at 118. BetMGM, they've got them at minus 120, and points bet a minus 125 over there. So all four prop sites agree that the under on four and a half rebounds is looking like the way to go on Devin Booker. I'll probably be clicking that as well. So I'm sticking to my guns. I like the under on Devin Booker still after our research. Now, the next guy I wanted to talk about is his teammate, Jay Crowder. Now, Jay Crowder, I'm going the opposite direction. I think this will be less of a Devin Booker rebound game and more of a Jay Crowder rebound game. So I'm going to take the over on Jay Crowder at four and a half rebounds, meaning I need him to pull down at least five boards or more, which I think he can definitely do here. So let's type in Crowder's name. And you can see that his projection for rebounds today is at 4.8, meaning that he's favoriting five rebounds more than favoriting four rebounds. So I like the way that thing is looking. So 4.8 looking very, very good for the over. So we go back to NBA.com, type in his name. 
open things up and then his player card prop pops right up and you can see that uh, for the season 4.9 rebounds just a shade under five rebounds but very very close to five boards which is exactly where we need him to be is five or more so let's look at his last five games and see how many boards he's been pulling down on a per game basis here changing the season segment to last five games click run it and he's appeared in all five games and in that uh, time span 4.8 rebounds so not way over the top five or more but still 4.8 is you know trending in the right direction i would say so i am liking the way that this is leaning more toward five than it is four so i'm sticking to my guns unless something changes my mind here out on the uh we'll call it vegas websites now on DraftKings sportsbook not seeing any juice over or under on jay crowder at this time over on fanduel though he's a minus 122 for the over i'm liking the way that's looking now a little bit of a deviation here. Bet MGM, people are smashing. I mean, he's a minus 143 on the under on Bet MGM right now, which is kind of crazy based on the fact that he's projected to go over and he's been going over in his last handful of games. And wow, uh, yeah, that's kind of surprising. Points bet, final sight here, not really seeing any juice over or under. It's a split tie here we'll say 115 under 115 over so it's a little murky here for jay crowder but if i am going one way or another gun to head and i gotta make a decision i'm probably taking the over on jay crowder so there you have it for him now with those rebounds out of the way the very last single stat prop i want to talk about is a couple of good three-point props that are standing out to me right now so the first of those is going to be Sacramento swingman Buddy Heald, who is uh, coming back off of an illness, but he should be good to go. I believe he did play last night, so not too worried about that. Now, again, he's taking on Phoenix here. The game's looking like a blowout, but Buddy, he's a young pup. He's usually going to get a ton of run, a good, healthy amount of minutes. So I would call him somewhat blowout proof. Not really worried about him getting smoked here. So he's at three and a half, three point makes tonight. Let's take a look at some of his numbers. Unfortunately, we don't have any projections for Buddy Heald to compare to, but what we can do is look at some of his recent game logs and stuff like that and help us formulate a better opinion on how Buddy Heald's been shooting the ball. So while things are loading, swig of water for the working man. Water, the beverage of choice today. And we click on his stats. Click traditional splits. Now, for the season, you can see that he is attempting... 10 and a half, 10 and a half three point uh, shots per game, which is a huge number. I mean, that's just ridiculous. That's an average for the season, by the way. So that's crazy. He chucks up a lot of threes. Now, on those 10 and a half attempts, he's making four per game, good for 38%. So this guy's got the green light to shoot a bunch of three pointers. So already the four three point makes for the season average is looking very, very good here. Now let's change this from season average and let's go down to his last five games and get a better idea of how things are looking now this is even crazier because for his last five games his three-point attempts go from 10 up to over 12 three-point attempts per game and on that number he is making 4.8 makes so that is like close to five so that would crush today's projection of three and a half so that's a four game uh window there four game sample size so I uh, looked at the last five games, but in those five games, he's played in four of those games. So, man, I am sticking to my guns here so far with Buddy Heald. This guy is the ultimate three-point shooter. So let's click the three-point category here and just do one last little check. And you can see that DraftKings, they've got him at three and a half three-point makes. Not really seeing any juice over or under there, but FanDuel... Surprisingly, they are actually taking the under on three and a half three point makes. Maybe they're playing the blowout potential here. Maybe they don't think Buddy Hield is going to be out there long enough to get four three point makes. I'm not quite sure. Bet MGM, no one's home there. No prop available for Buddy Hield three point makes. And then finally, points bet, people are taking the over there at minus 125. So, Guys, with everything that we've looked at for Buddy Heald, my final verdict on him would be to take the over. I think that he will play late into this game, no matter what happens. If you know Phoenix is up by 10, 12, or 
2020, I think Buddy Heald will get a fair run of minutes, and I think he's going to have every opportunity in the world to make four three-pointers. So I'm sticking with it. I like Buddy Heald to go over three and a half three-point makes. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about and the final one to wrap up today's video is going to be Jalen Brown at two and a half three-point makes. Now, at two and a half three-point makes, I like Jalen Brown to go over here. I think that he's good for at least three three-point makes or more. That's what I'm saying when I say we're taking the over on Jalen Brown. So let's see if there's any numbers here that we could look at that will back this up. We type his name in, open it up. And then we'll head over to the stats tab. And you can see for the season, he is attempting almost seven three-pointers per game. Now on those seven three-point attempts, 2.7 of those per game are dropping for him on average, which is good for about 39.7%. So that's a pretty good three-point percentage here for young Jalen Brown. So let's click traditional splits and dig into his last five games real quick. And that'll give us a better idea of how he's been shooting lately. Now, his three-point attempts are actually up. 8.6 attempts per game, 3.4 makes. Man, that looks like money to me. And his average is still maintaining at 39.5%. Man, he's shooting the ball very, very well here. So I am liking this, man. I'm sticking with it. I like the fact that Jalen Brown's last five games, he's making 3.4 threes, which lends itself to lead me to believe that He's going to make at least three three balls in this one. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. The last but not least, the last stop, Roto-Wire. Now, at two and a half makes on DraftKings Sportsbook, you can see people are smashing the over there. He's a minus 139. That's making me feel more and more confident. Same thing with FanDuel, minus 132 for the over. BetMGM, minus 143. And points bet, minus 140. People are loving the over on this two and a half three pointers made for Jalen Brown tonight. And so am I. This is probably one of my favorite picks of today's video. So definitely go and lock that in before that gets bumped up. Prize picks is known to do that. So you have to move fast. Timing is very, very key and crucial to uh, finding those edges and locking them in. I hope today's video brought you some value. If it did, please hit that like button again. We're, we're trying to go over and we're trying to get to our 900 subscriber mark by the end of the month. So if this video brought you any value whatsoever, if you enjoyed what I was talking about, hit the like button, leave a comment below, which player is standing out to you, which prop are you liking? Maybe there's one that I skipped over that you're really feeling. Drop it down in the comment section below. Maybe you'll help me out. Maybe you'll help someone else out. I appreciate you guys tuning in. My name's CJ. Once again, this is Out of Bounds. Thank you so much. Good luck tonight if you're playing on Prize Picks or any of the other sports betting websites. We'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.